What's going on guys? So basically you clicked on this video because you want to know how to create a sub goal that automatically changes when someone subscribes to you on your Twitch. Well, I'm about to show you how to do that. You want something that looks a little bit like this. Okay. You can play around with it. You don't got to use the same font. It can look your own unique type of way, but to get these numbers to automatically update, get the slash out of 20, get the sub goal. This is the video for you. This is how you're going to do it. What you're going to do is you're going to go to whatever browser you decide to use and you're going to search stream labs, right? You're going to search that up. You're going to click on this. Then after you're done clicking on that, you're going to press visit your dashboard. After you've logged in successfully, you're going to go to the top here and you're going to type in stream labels. Okay. You're going to click on that and you're going to download the stream labels app. Basically, you got three options. You got Windows, Mac OS and Debian. OK, I don't know what the fuck Debian is. OK, but if you have a Debian, you're going to click on Debian. OK, if you have a Mac, you're going to click on Mac. And if you have a Windows PC, you're going to click on Windows. Me personally, I have a Windows PC, so I would click right here. It's going to start downloading right you're going to press download. You're going to press save. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. While that's downloading, you're going to come to your desktop. You're going to right click. You're going to press new. You're going to create a folder and you're going to name it stream labels. You're going to download all the files to that folder that's called stream labels. So you know where it's all at. And you're going to go to stream labels and you're going to find total subscriber count. Um, total subscriber count right there. Okay. You're going to minimize this for a second. You're going to go back to your OBS. So once you've opened up your OBS, you're going to right click, you're going to press add. Then you're going to click on text. You're going to name it sub count. Super, super complicated. You're going to press OK. Then this is very important. You're going to press read from file. You're going to press browse. You're going to find where it says total subscriber count in that folder that you made. You're going to click on that once I find it. You're going to click on that and you're going to press open. Once you press open, you're going to see some numbers. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Why does mine not say slash 20? We're going to get to that. You can make the font whatever you want. It's automatically on Arial. Um, if we press this one, it's going to look like this now. It's really up to you. Okay. Um, for this example, I'm just going to go back to Arial. Press OK. So now you got your actual subscriber count. Now, you want the slash out of 20. You want the actual go in there as well, I would assume. So this is going to be your current total of subscribers. If you want to make it 10, go to my Twitch. Feel free. I won't be mad. You're going to see your current number of subscribers for this month. And then that's probably it. The way you're going to fix that. You're going to go to the app that you downloaded, Stream Labels. You're going to double click it. Once it boots up, you're going to press Settings. Then you're going to go to Total Subscriber Count. And you're going to make sure it says slash whatever your goal is. Mine 20. Okay, I'm trying to get somewhere. You feel me? You're going to press Save Settings. Then once you've done that, you're going to press Cancel. Get out of that bitch. And you're going to have to leave it open. Okay. After you've done that, you're going to go back to stream labels, wherever you put the folder at, you're going to press total subscriber count, and you're going to make sure that also says slash whatever your goal is right now. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to streamlabs.com. You're going to go to alert box. Okay. This is a vital step. You're going to go to general settings. You're going to make sure that reset stream label session automatically is enabled. That way, it resets it every single time so you don't have to do it manually. And the final step to this super simple, overcomplicated process is to make a new text, call it sub goal. Okay. Well, that's already in use because I already have it in use on a different screen. And you're going to type sub goal. And you're going to have these right here. Press OK. Put it right next to it. Boom. One more thing that I want to make very clear that I forgot to mention is you have to keep 
the stream labels app open while you're streaming for it to update automatically. So if this app is not open with OBS while you're streaming, it's not going to automatically update the number if you get a new subscriber. So that's going to that's gonna do it with this tutorial. Uh, please like, subscribe, check out my Twitch. It's the link in the description. Um, if you want any more tutorials, let me know. And yeah, have a great day.